Good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Stuff and Such. Today we're going to show how to properly replace a fuel line on the Husqvarna 266 and the series that are very similar, the 61, the 268, 272, and the 66. They're about all the same. I'll, so we'll go through it and I'll show you how you properly replace the fuel line on them. So first thing you need to do is pull off the top cover. So once you got the top cover off, you can simply pop off your fuel line. And then you pull out your gas cap. Now you'll kind of need a pair of forceps, some long needle nose pliers would work. You want to reach down there and get a hold of the old fuel line. Pull it down and out. So here's the old one. I don't know if it is not working correctly or not. Oh yeah, there we are. A little hole right there. I don't know if you can see it. Right, the fuel line. That's what was causing my saw to run a bit lean. I noted it when I was getting closer to the half bottom of the tank. Running it, it the fuel would vibrate in the bottom and it would make it so that it would be sucking air through that little hole. So here we got a replacement fuel line. I'll put a link for an appropriate fuel line down in the description. So first things you want to do is you see how this taper is smaller than this taper so that the smaller side goes up towards the carburetor. First, so the first thing you do first thing you do is you attach your fuel filter. I'm not quite sure how I can go about filming it but what you need to do is take your hose and thread it up through this hole that runs through the tank, through the hole into your... So I don't know if you can see that hole right there maybe. You need to thread it up through that hole. Now here's one of the little tricks that will help you out on that. Put a little bit of lubricant on that flange so that when it comes to that uh, smaller hole, it can easily slip through. Sometimes if you don't have that lubricant, you can tear your fuel line. All right. Just throw a little light down here. I think we got her. Perfect, there we go. So, now what you want to do is you want to pull it and you'll feel it pop into place. There we go. Alright guys, hopefully you found that video a little helpful for you on how to change the 
fuel lines on that series of Husqvarna. Anyways, if you guys give me a little subscribe, greatly appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next video, guys.